How's it going, guys? So, for a long time, I've been wanting to build my own uh, DIY Jazz Master guitar, and I've had a couple blanks of wood, um, and I stumbled upon this beautiful black limba piece of wood. Um, however, it was in the scrap bin, um, and it just wasn't big enough. So, what I had to do was get creative, and I actually positioned the uh, guitar at an angle and uh, you can see the grain pattern in Fusion and uh, here's just a little bit of my process I designed it in Fusion and then also did the uh, cam I have a uh, CNC router that I built and uh, did all of the machining on that which uh, you'll see footage later from that um, so this is just going through the different um, tool paths I did a lot of 2D contour and 2D adaptive um, here's just a quick simulation. I think the overall machining took roughly about 25 to 30 minutes uh, with tool changes. Um, it shows 18 minutes there, but that's not quite right. And then I also had to machine out a custom pick guard, uh, so you can see the simulation there. Um, and this was actually the, the very beginning, so I started with uh, kind of a random blank piece of wood to test out my tool paths and uh, make sure everything fit um, including the neck and uh, it worked out really well so then I was finally able to to move on to the piece of black limba uh, so here you can see uh, just nice and slow I didn't want to take it too fast by any means uh, because I only had one piece of um, black limba and uh, I've actually been wanting to do this for about two years now. I've had the wood, but I've just uh, just haven't had um, the motivation, and uh, I've been a little scared to to cut into that piece of wood there. So you can see uh, right now it's making a, a contour, and uh, I think my depth of cut was about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't look like it here, but I think for my adaptive tool paths, about a quarter of an inch and uh, maybe 150, 200 inches a minute. So here's a helical ramp right into the cavity. And uh, you can see it's just hogging out like nobody's business. So really happy with this tool path and uh, the single flute makes uh, quick work. Here you go, you can see that I added a uh, contour to clean up. I think it was about a 5 thou cleanup pass, and that allows for the, the neck to fit in really nice and tight, with some really high tolerances. And then here, uh, you can see that it's starting to machine out that cavity. And look at that, that's at least a quarter inch depth of cut. I uh, just had no problem at all. I probably could have gone a little deeper, but I don't have to worry about losing steps. It's uh, all servo driven. I'll have to do a video on it sometime. But there's some of the process. And then I used a V-bit to locate all the holes to hold the pick guard in place. And that worked out really well. I was really happy with just how everything came together and, and fit. You can see just the tolerances were spot on. Um, so I actually didn't cut all the way through. You can see that I cut probably three quarters um, all the way through and then finished it up here on the bandsaw. That's just because I didn't have an end mill that was uh, long enough and so it was pretty easy to clean it up on the bandsaw and then use the trim router to clean up the rest. I ended up going with a 3 8 inch round over uh, to finish up all the edges. I just think it looks really nice. And uh, for sanding, um, I started all the way at 
think it was 100 grit and went all the way to 600. Um, so maybe a bit excessive, but I really wanted this thing to, to really show off itself. And uh, I used a Danish oil to finish, and man, I just love the way that the, uh, the black limba just pops right out of there with the Danish oil. Um, so here's a couple cool shots of it. I have a Fender Stratocaster and decided to just take that neck right off of there. So it has a really nice neck and a really beautiful body. Then the last thing to do was the pick guard. And so I ordered some three ply uh, black, white, black material and uh, used the blue tape method with super glue. And if you haven't heard of that, it's basically double side um, the blue tape on the work piece and also the table and then you put a thin layer of CA or super glue in between there let it sit for a little while and then it adheres really well and allows you to cut out um, you know anything that you need to uh, like sheet wise so it works perfect for this and uh, you'll see how I did the chamfer that was a little tricky uh, so after I cut out all the internal pieces I actually cut out uh, the contour where you can see here and uh, after I cut all the way through I removed the outside plate so all that was sitting in there was the guard itself Not gonna lie, this uh, chamfering operation was a little nerve-wracking. Uh, the blue tape held up really well, but this was the only material that I had, so I couldn't mess up. And uh, you can see I took a really slow climb cut, which probably wasn't the best idea, but that's how it goes. Alright, well there you go. I think it turned out really well, and uh, it sounds really nice, and I love playing it. so. Thanks so much for watching, uh, feel free to subscribe, and uh, here's a quick little video of me playing it so you can hear the tone. Thanks.